All right, uh, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to go through and install a new ROM on my Incredible S today, and I'm going to go with this one. So it's the Nicola Rebirth Sense 4.0 version 3 by Nickel 007. And um, I've, I'd like to have a look at this purely because it's got the Sense again coming from Simogen Mod 7. So um, and as you can see, it's got the Sense 4A, which is um, a slightly cut down version of Sense um, based on the HTC One V, uh, not the One S or X. So uh, the One V is the bottom or the, the lowest of the uh, One series, and it's got down a cut down version of the 4A. So I've been reading around, and the reason I chose this one purely is because. Um, it seems to be fairly complete. Um, although the camera doesn't work at 8 meg, it'll work fine at 5. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work, apparently, is the Wi-Fi hotspot, which um, is good enough for me. So um, I will uh, we'll go through and we'll install this one. So again, I'm just going to follow this guide. Uh, everything on this guide is still applicable. Um, except when you get down to there's a, two things one is obviously uh, you, we need to install instead of uh, sign engine mod uh, we'll download this uh, auto rebirth and obviously we have to go through and extract the boot image um, from the uh, the new ROM so what I've got here is I've downloaded the um, ROM here and what will, that's the um, boot image so what I'll do is I'll extract that into C Android and overwrite that boot image because that boot Im image was from uh, Cyanogen mod so I'll copy and replace so and then we will flash that um, after we've download and install it. Okay, so um, you know if you watch my other videos which I'll put a link to on uh, following all these steps in a video. So okay well let's get started and since I've already done uh, all of these commands in my other videos, flashed all that, I'm going to skip down to um, this part eight. So I've actually copied across um, the zip file onto the phone already. So it's on the the, uh, the phone. So let's just put it up and have a look. Remove all this. Let's open it up and have a look. So there it is. The um, the nick or rebirth, and that's obviously in the root of the um, SD card. So we'll leave that boot there. So what I'm going to do is start from uh, number eight here. So instead of using, uh, obviously I'm just going to replace anything that says Synergen mod, which I've already down, um, and place it with this Nick or a ROM. So done that. So obviously we'll go from power off the phone huh, and go from there. Okay, so. Okay, so let's just go through and um, I'm just going to power off. <clears throat> okay, so number nine, hold volume down and press power. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to boot back into the bootloader. So holding the volume and the power at the same time. Okay, so where this goes zoom in, obviously it's still unlocked. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to go into recovery. Because I've done all the other steps, we're going to go straight to recovery and uh, select. Wow. And what that will do is boot us into clockwork mod.
Okay, so we're in there. So what we want to do now is um, go into actually the first thing we want to do is the right thing which is to back up everything back up and restore and then we hit backup and it's just going through I'll just let that run okay so after a few minutes, um, you can see it says backup complete. So what we'll do is now, and that's on the card there, memory card. So I'm just going to move it. So from here, uh, the best thing to do is to do a wipe. So wipe data factory reset. Scroll down to yes, delete all user data. So I'll just move it up so you can see that running. So just wait until um zoom out a bit and zoom. When it's done, it'll let us know it's done. There we go. Still running. Okay, so that's done now. Okay, so we've worked all that. Go back to the main menu now. We can go install from zip card. So we install zip from SD and go to zip from SD. I'm going to go up to that one or around. Select. <coughs> and uh, now we just sit back and wait. So, so obviously it's just a little welcome screen telling you that uh, you're installing this Sense4 Lite ROM with Incredible S. So go next. Obviously read through that. Um, you have to take I agree. Should we go next? So, so there you have it says new ROM flash accessory. Enjoy the ROM and share your reviews. So there you have it. Um, we'll go back in. What I'm going to do is um, power off because um, remember this has got <coughs> uh, this is still S on. So um, we still got to go back and do one last command, which is flash the uh, the boot image manually before we can get it to. Um, to boot properly, so I'm just going to power off. So hold down the volume and um, power button. Okay, so what we want to do is the fast boot. So I'm going to plug the USB cable in. And um, select fast boot, and you'll see the USB. So over on the computer, and this will flash the boot image for this particular ROM onto the phone. So there you see on the screen it says done. Um, power off and restart now. So we can go reboot. I'm just 
gonna unplug the USB, let it boot up. This is so this is the first boot. Okay, that's always a good sign past the uh, the white HTC screen. If you don't do the flash boot image, um, usually it'll get stuck on that white uh, HTC screen. Okay, so that took good almost five minutes to boot up. But um, there we have it. <coughs> this is the Incredible OS running um, Android 4. 4.0 with Sense Sense 4.08. So I'm gonna go um, select my carrier. Okay, cool. So we can go through and um, set it all up for the first time. So I want to go through set it all up, and I'll be I'll come right back and um, go through it. Okay, so um, there you have it. This is the first boot. I'll go. Whoops. I, uh, I'll go into settings and um, about um, software information. So there you go. So this is for Android 4.0.3. Since 4.0, that's the ROM. And um, the, the kernel version, baseband version. So there you have it. This is. Um, I'm going to the Play Store. Um, Google account, and it's going to sign into Play Store for the first time. So skip that. Next, there you have it. It is pretty much up and running. So there you have it. Play Store works. I'll update it. Update just to make sure it is all good. So there you go. Um, browse the internet. Oops. And there we have it. Oh no, places. Just to show you that it uh, internet works, fantastic. There you go. Hope that's helped, and um, click like if uh, it's helped. So uh, thanks for watching.